Hey guys, what's up? Lord Meacher again here, your lord of video games, and welcome to another episode of Trails of Cold Steel. Last time, we saw a bunch of cutscenes, we saw Uses, we saw Million, we saw Gaius, we saw Sarah, and we saw what Orbos is kind of like planning right now. We're not 100% sure what they're planning, obviously, but we have a little bit of an idea. And we have Ash and Muse finally in our class. And last time, we played as Jessica to beat Reen up. Yes, I know how that sounds, but without further ado, let's actually move on. I actually went through the whole school, and that was the last thing. So now, let's actually go to town. Oh, there she is. Hey, Sister Rosine. Oh, thanks. That was easy. I know we got the black records here. And the <sighs> That's unfortunate. A feria. Hmm? Nice. Orchid hairpin. Here we go. That's what I can get, yeah. Always remember to give them away. <laughs> Let me say. It also levels up their stats. Cover? No. And it is for Kurt. No, there's nothing else to do. Whenever and saw everything. I believe. If I miss something, just kill me. Looks like the sun is about to set. Should I head back to the dorm now? Yes, let's return. Hello, Reen. I see you're on your way back too. Was that Toa and Celine? Yep. Hey there, Toa, Celine. <laughs> you two together is quite the rare sight. <laughs> I suppose it is now that you mention it. I guess so. It took quite some effort on her part to convince everyone to let a talking cat stay here. <laughs> I see. Thank you for taking the time to do all that. It didn't take any time. Just had to do a few quick chats with people at the campus and in town. Just make sure you don't let any visitors catch you talking, okay, Celine? Yeah, yeah, I know that. I've been hiding myself with Emma for years now. I wouldn't make such an amateurish. Holy crap, a talking cat! <laughs> Meow! Wait a second. Um. <laughs> George? I was just talking about him. And. I know you weren't least. expecting me, Reen. Good day to you, Toa. Celine. <laughs> Elise! And is that. <laughs> Sorry about that. Looks like I got you good. <laughs> George Gnome. See? He's... But he's different. Yeah, he's... His name is different. George! Oh, I'm so stupid. Long Jeez, time no much. see, Toa. And how's it hanging, Reen? Celine? I happened to run into your sister on the train from Heimdall. 
Hey, how's it going, George? Long time no see. You're getting more assistance. You have three already. Mint, Tita, and George. Jeez. <laughs> I don't know what they're talking about, can I only imagine? Me and Reen, me and Reen, is Reen and Randy going to be eating there together again? I see. So you came to bring me letters from Father and Mother. Master. Master. Not most. Master. Yes, they arrived around noon, so I figured I should give them to you right away. I figured I could get back today, so I decided to come. I had a plan to just come and go, but... No, I won't allow this. The last return train leaves at 10. A girl like you cannot go alone. We have guest rooms in the dorm, so please stay here tonight. But, but... Yeah, I insist too. Tomorrow's Sunday. I hope you didn't have any plans. Well, that won't be a problem. Hmm... Fine, I'll take you upon that offer. After all, I do want to meet everyone at the branch campus. Thank you. Yeah, I'll get permission from, permission from the principal. Sorry, thank you. I was surprised to see you, but... <clears throat> I didn't think the fat mechanic would be coming. What is wrong with my voice for sleep? I didn't think the fat mechanic would be coming too. Yeah, I didn't see him in a year. He's gonna come over here after he sees the professor, right? Yeah, he said we can order whatever we'd like. George has a hefty appetite, so we can probably order everything on the menu. <laughs> you may be right. That may be too much. But I was really surprised to see him on the train. He told me he spent this past year traveling all over the continent. Yeah, he was making his rounds to all the famous workshops across the continent. Zay's Central Factory in Liberal, the Epstein Foundation in Le Mans. He said he used his connections to also go to the Verne Company in the Republic. The Republic. He managed to just waltz over the Empire's biggest rival. The two countries are practically at war with each other half the time. You're right, though there's still the truce in effect for now. George was always an advocate for peace through technological exchange. Wolfie and Angelica are really setting good examples. Is it Angelica traveling the continent on an orbital bike? Yeah, I think she might be coming back soon. I thought that was Angelica for a second. I'm like, damn, what are the timing? Hey guys, sorry making you wait. George! Please have a seat. Let's make a toast. <laughs> That's right, you're old enough to drink now. I can drink too. I'll just have a ginger ale. And I'll have milk. That looks good. I heard the rumors, but seeing what happened in Crossbell, the society's on the move again, and the group called the Gnomes. Yeah. Right. Rain? Miss Toa? 
Yeah, that surprised me too. Crow. That that has to be Crow. In my head, I know it's impossible. We went to his funeral after the war. We were there when they buried him. Crow. Yeah, he was resting so peacefully. He looked unusually content, f you know, for Crow. Toa. Toa. For some reason, it seems like it was just yesterday. But you're right. We know for certain. That masked man absolutely is not Crow. Yeah. In fact, that shadowy machine may have not even been a divide knight. It looks just like something that looks like one. Could have been something that just looks like one. Speaking of which, was the Azure Knight ever retrieved? I heard that they sealed it up so that the Noble Alliance wouldn't get their hands on it. Yeah, it's been stored in the Desagralia Fortress. Now that Koro is no longer alive, it shouldn't be able to teleport. So, it must have been something else. Yeah. A small part of me was hoping he, it really was the Knight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyway, the gnomes are piquing my interest. They were the counterpart to the witches, but they vanished into the dark recess of history. They built all the spirit shrines, and were the ones responsible for everything you guys found in the old schoolhouse's basement. I heard the last time they clashed with the witches was about 800 years ago. That was the last exchange between the two groups. Supposedly no one has seen the gnomes since then. And they just happened to re to choose today to return? They're going up against the society and have hired Zephyr. So it seems. Honestly, I have no idea what's going on. I'm sure the Elder or Vito would know more about this. Didn't you already ask the Elder? But she wouldn't tell you anything. Well, she can be really stubborn sometimes. Jeez, despite looking like that, she can be such a stubborn hag. Looking like that? Oh, don't worry about it. Was it blonde hair, hair girl the elder? The one we saw in the vision, like, chapter one? Hey, Reen. Do you have any thoughts about the gnomes? What makes you think I know anything about them? Well, I did back you up. I did back you in class seven up in battle once. I like to think I know about the information you gathered during the Civil War. And under that assumption, I came up with a theory. A group known as the Gnomes. Could they be calling themselves something else now? Oh. That's... I've only heard bits and pieces, but... I was actually thinking that too. Over the last two months, my suspicions have grown. The name the Gnomes are using now is... No, it's not the RF group, and it's definitely not Ouroboros. Could be the Black Workshop? See, that is the mystery right now, and this game we're talking a lot about the Black Workshop, about Altina, and about Milligan. Black Workshop? Let's see. The Black Workshop. They're the mysterious workshops that created Milligan and Altina's combat shells. I've also heard rumors about them selling extremely high-tech weapons to first-class Jaeger group corps. So... Probably. The super long rifle that Crow used may have been one of them. It's a Tina's combat shell that abducted me and the princess. Yeah, although they erased all of Milium and Altina's memories of the workshop, no one has seen their true face. Except for Chancellor Osborne and Ouroboros. Oh. And everything has come full circle. According to Vita, the Black Workshop was part of society's 13 factories. Hmm. This is what I learned during my recent travels. The 13 factories are like a network that gathers technicians from all over the continent. But during the Civil War, the Black Workshop sided with the Chancellor and helped him steal the plan from the society. Yeah, that makes sense. So, the key to all of this is Chancellor Osborne. He's not someone we can just talk to. Mm. 
It is your dad, Reen. Reen? Reen. Huh? What is it? It's nothing. I don't want to make them worry. Thank you. I think I have a better idea of, of how all this information fits together. <laughs> You're welcome. I'm interested in the Black Workshop, too. I think the professor might know something. Really? Uh-uh. That makes sense. He is regarded as the most prestigious engineer in the continent. I was planning on staying at his lab tonight and helping out. I'm leaving for Ruhr tomorrow, but I'll make sure to bring it up with him. I'll let you, <clears throat> I'll let you know if I learn anything new, Reen. Thank you. I feel like he'll be more open with you. Yeah. That old man has issues. He really does. AP increased by one. Hey, so that was the correct answer. Well then, I'll see you guys around. I'll make sure to drop in and say bye before I leave tomorrow. Thanks. You should give me a call sometime too. Good evening. How about we get together and have lunch tomorrow? Sounds good to me. See you tomorrow. That said, I'll probably end up pulling an all-nighter tonight. Yeah, that's George. Oh, there they are. Every girl was looking for us. Yuna, Altina, Muse. And look, even Tita's here. All oh, right. I haven't said hello to anyone besides Mel er Muse yet. Good to see you, Yuna. It's been a while. You as well, Tina. Tita. Yeah, good to see you too. It has only been 19 days since we last met. <laughs> I was so surprised when I heard from George. Well, I excused myself earlier so as to not to intrude, but when I told Yuna and Altina you were here, they insisted on by to say hello, and to spend a little bit more one-on-one -on -one time with the professor. At least, I am. Well, yeah, we promised we'd all go together. And you, instructor, why didn't you invite me? Oh yeah, now that you mention it, I probably should have. No, it's my fault. I should have let you all know I'd be stopping by. No, no, you got nothing to apologize for, Elise. But hey, aren't you headed for Heimdall? The last train is going to leave soon, isn't it? Well, about that, Elise will be spending tonight at the dorms. And everybody's excited. What? For real? Yay! <laughs> I suspected that might be the case. Will you perhaps be spending the night locked away with Instructorine in his room? Uh, absolutely not! She'll be staying in the guest room tonight. I checked with the principal earlier, and in her words, Elise can stay for as many nights as she pleases. She would say that. Oh, in that case, Elise, instead of some boring old guest room, why don't you stay with us? You're fine with it, right, Allie? No objections. Commence pajama party. Oh, that's cute. No, no, no. She should stay with Tita and me. After all, I was her underclassman at St. Estrella. Oh, yes. I'd be more than happy to have her stay with us. And they're fighting now because of it. This is getting way too noisy. If this keeps going, they'll tell her... They'll, they'll tear her in two. Um... Well, since you've got the opportunity, why not take them up on their offer release? <laughs> I agree. But as a teacher, I recommend you don't stay up too late. In that case... I would love to join you all for the night. Are they all five gonna be just in one room then? Hehehe <laughs>
<laughs> Looks like you've kept this place clean. Yeah. Of Though the building I have. itself may be old, everything inside is well organized. I'm sure you can thank Celestin for that. You don't have to go through the trouble of cleaning my room, though. I can take care of myself. Yes, I can tell. However, the hard-to-reach spots could use some attention. <sighs> well, I've been pretty busy, you know? <laughs> oh, I know. Don't worry, I'll give your room a thorough cleaning tomorrow. There should be no problems, provided I get back by evening. Come on. No, I couldn't possibly ask that of you. Since you came to visit, I should show, show you around. Knowing you, you'll be working even on your off days, am I right? I don't intend to get in the way of you helping out your school or your students. I came to visit and volunteered to help out of my own free will, so please go about your business as usual. Elise. I just noticed I had my fan on. I'm sorry if you guys have been hearing that all this time. So, sorry. That's like 20 minutes. Jeez. I'm so sorry about that. Fine, you win. But we're eating breakfast and lunch together, at least. I won't let you get out of that. <laughs> I accept your conditions. Oh, and Reen, here are the letters from Father and Master Yoon. Oh. Thanks for bringing those to me. I guess Master came back to visit while I was away in Crossbow, huh? I would have liked to see him, but I guess that's how it was meant to be. But why didn't Dad just send these directly those to me? Those letters weren't sent to me through the post office, but a shipping company. <coughs> Perhaps he did it for your sake. I see. Did you do that in case the letters were inspected? Does that mean there's sensitive information in them? Um, Reen? Did something happen between you and father? No, what do you when ask? When you came home at the end of last year, there seemed to be something off between the two of you. <laughs> I can't imagine what it might be, but did something happen at the end of the Civil War? And could that something have led to a rift between you and father? I'm glad to finally see you again, my son. You've grown into a fine young man. Yeah, that kind of would do the trick. Indeed. The Empire will soon know of the Ashen Chevalier, the hero whose brave deeds allowed us to reclaim the capital. Everything's fine, Elise. Don't worry about it. Your big brother's got it covered. There's no need to worry. We're not fighting or anything. I'm still Dad's beloved son. And him, Mom, and you are all my family. Nothing will ever change that. Right. Now give a hug. All done getting ready for your sleepover? Huh? Everyone. Uh, <laughs> uh, we just finished getting the bed all set up. I went and brought back some extra pajamas, too. Oh, because I've sensed your presence there for some time now. Oh. <laughs> Told you he sensed us. <laughs> oh, don't act like you weren't just as curious as the rest of us, Altina. The Shores are siblings alone together. A forbidden delight sweeter than the finest confection. Stop. Music. You need to stop. Ah, uh, that's it. It's been so long since you've scolded me like that, Elise. Oh, my lord. She's into that, too. <laughs> hmm. You're all making way too much racket. Don't go around shouting in the halls. I'm trying to take a cat nap here and... <laughs> what do you think you're doing? <laughs> you should join us, Celine. There are so many things I need to ask you. Good thinking. I'm sure Celine has plenty of juicy details about our instructor's school days. Oh boy. Juicy details? Oh, <laughs> we're gonna have so much fun tonight. 
Goodbye, Celine. Well, Rest on in that peace. note, good night, Rain. Good night, Elise. Yeah, good night. Try not to stay up too late. Please. Remember, we got breakfast in the morning. Uh -huh. Is Aubin time gonna play? Oh, that is be before the... That's after I can haul keep. Hey! More people! Oh, all the girls are just coming over. <laughs> ah, I can't believe what an angel structurine sister is. Her uniform is simply perfect and she's just so pure. She's the student council president at Estrella Girls School, right? Kurt, talk to her. Put that obnoxiously handsome face of yours to work and ask if we can join too. Come on. I refuse. You got knows tomorrow's our free day, right? <laughs> so that's George's sister, huh? But I guess they are b blood related. But if that's the case, then. What are you even planning, Ash? Like, what's your whole deal? Deary, it has been some time. I said that I was on you. It was before you left for the academy, so two years ago. Tio showed me a recent picture of you, and I could tell at a glance you've grown into a fine young man. I've no doubt you were hit among the ladies, but knowing you, that popularity is going completely to waste. Yeah. Truth be told, I was journey to the eastern half of the continent. The plights grow worse by the day. The dragon veins are nearly depleted and the barren land spreads. It is a world wholly different from the west. I shan't return to western Zamuria for at least half a year. I should have... I would have liked to see you before I left, but I suppose this is Adios as well. I hear you entered. You earned yourself the title of Ashen Chevalier for your deeds in the Empire's Civil War. I'm sure there are many things which cause you hesitation and disquiet in your heart. The power within you that led you to seek my training, the mystery of your birth, your past. But you needn't worry over such things. The knowledge I passed down to you was that of the seventh form, the blade that brings a flash of light to drive back the darkness. Mastering this form is more difficult than any other. I do not know if you are even capable of such a feat yet. Ten years ago, it was you I chose to be my final disciple. Not Cassius, not Arios. I chose you and you alone to be the final blade to complete the eight leaves. Aww. In this time of turbulence, become that flying blade which illuminates the darkness even for the briefest moment. I believe you and those comrades whose solos are intertwined with yours are capable of this. Goodbye for now. Once I have returned from the east, we have and we have reunited, I shall impart to you my final teachings. Yunka Fai. <laughs> How does he always do that? He writes as though he knows everything I've done and sees right through me. Eastern Zamuria. In recent years it's grown barren, and there's less and less fertile land to go around. I'm sure Master doesn't need me to worry about him. No, it's not my place to worry about him. The seventh form is void, emptiness, darkness, yet it is also a blade that brings a flash of light to illuminate that darkness. He's always told me that, but I think I'm finally starting to understand. I think it's a bit too much to call me the final blade to complete the eight leaves. But at the very least, at least I want to be strong enough to protect my friends and students, and in order to do that, I need to overcome this wall. Dad's a note. I also got this letter from Dad. A letter he needed at least to hand deliver to me. Dear Reed, it's been a while since we last talked, huh? About six months or so, I guess. And judging from your last letter, you seem to be well. I'm sure at least mentioned it, but Master Kafai visited Emir in late May. 
He left a letter for you, so I sent it to Elise via a reliable source so she could deliver it to you in person. I'd also like to tell you that which I promised I would. I imagine by now you know about your birth father. Elise had her suspicions, but your mother and I immediately knew something was amiss when you last visited. First off, I need to apologize for not telling you sooner. I had known Gilly of Osborne for about 40 years. His family were commoners from the north, but his father and mine were acquainted. When he lost his family to an avalanche, we took him in. He was 13 years old at the time. I was only 5 then, so I looked up to him as an older brother. Once he was 17, he left Amir and enrolled at Thor's. After his graduation, he joined the army and was promoted at a remar remarkable rate. Because of this, the nobles took notice and tried to qua quash his rise through the ranks. Even after my father passed on and I took over Amir, Goliath continued to keep in contact. Until that day, 14 years ago. It had been three years since I'd heard I his voice. I want you to take in a child. You must cut all ties with me and never speak a word of this to that child. I'm sorry, Teo. You're the only one I can turn to. Why? I accepted his request and immediately took Horace out to the place he told me. The rest you should know. The moment I saw the child, I knew it was his. I knew Goliath was married and had a child. I'd seen in picture. I'd seen... I'd even seen pictures, but seeing the child up close, he resembled his mother more than anything. Even so, I chose to forget all that and take that child as a member of the Schwarzer family. Fortunately, Lucia agreed and Elise warmed up to him in no time. From then on, it all went like a wondrous dream. That child grew up into a man any parent would be proud of. Of course, Elise was proud of her dear older brother as well. I knew he worried about the mysterious power deep within, but he studied under Kafai in order to get it under control. When his parents and his sister will always be proud of him, he is an irreplaceable member of our family. Much has changed since then, yet I know he is still the same young man we all love. My older brother Goliath was kind and dependable. I know he would not have left his child were there any other choice. That said, I refuse to give it, give you back to him. Even if it comes down to a bare knuckle brawl between us, even if I have no chance of winning, I will never let you go. Above all, I want to make sure you knew this. That's why I wrote to you today. Sorry it took me such a long time. Long letter to say it. Say hi to Elise for me. Sincerely, Dad. I'm so blessed to have such wonderful family and friends. And on top of that, now I have great co students. But I need to make sure I'm not over reliant on them. He must know something about my powers. And what really happened that day 14 years ago? What happened to my birth mother? P.S. He did contact me just once after the incident. There was simply a request from the Imperial Chancellor to locate it to a local baron. Twelve years ago, he asked me to introduce him to a young noble from the Alberia family to whom I was teaching falconry at the time. In retrospect, I feel my introduction to him was a prelude to recent events such as the Civil War and the occupation of Crossbell. It's possible this isn't relevant, but I thought I'd let you know anyway. Or Oros, the Black Workshop, the Enforcers, the Jaegers, the Gnomes, and that masked man. And the Iron Bloods he founded. I'm seeing more of a big picture little by little, but the truth is still shrouded in dark. You need to light the way, Reen Schwarzer. Be the shining blade that cuts through the darkness. Yes you do, Reen. And the next day, God, that water. Look at that. It's 
so beautiful. Here are today's requests. Thank you. All right, let's see what's in there. All right, I'll keep. All right. Very special lesson. And how far seen? Follow your dream. Sure. No, oh, looks like we've got quite a few this time. My word, you're still running around playing errand boy on top of all your teaching duties. You never change, do you, Reen? Is there anything I can help? I'll let you know if I come across anything I could use your help with. That said, you must have been busy as I have. Make sure you get some rest yourself. <laughs> You're certainly one to talk, but very well, I shall rest up. I suppose I may as well, if I'm going to stay here another day anyway. Huh, <laughs> because of this morning. Ah, Miss Elise, spend one more night here, please. It would wound my pride as an Erebonian noble if I were to let you leave without treating you to a feast. She sure knows how to get her way. Who's to make someone like her the principal? <laughs> well, it would be rude of me to decline such a generous offer. She contacted my school for me, so I'll be fine as long as I leave early tomorrow. Just go about your work like you usually do, Reen. Got it. Thanks. Well, I'll be off now. Do be careful. Mr. Celestin, can you tell me where the tool storage room is? But of course, I'll guide you there, if you'll excuse us. Thank you very much, Celestin. Don't let her do anything. I've got some errands of my own to take care of. There are some finishing touches that I need to be done training, so let me know when you're headed to the keep. Sure thing. Thanks, Celine. Yeah, yeah. See you later. You just get up, sit down, and then walk again. <laughs> Alright, time to get going. I'll head to Professor Schmidt place one as I'm done with the other request. <sighs> Message on my arc is three bonding points, and there's going to be a scene here. So let's get that out of the way and see who... Am I gonna meet? <clears throat> oh yeah, I guess at least took a back bath with you and the others yesterday. Seems like they all had fun. T you're here. A yep, Ash. T you're here. Hey, Ash. Taking a cook bath before you go up? Yeah, I couldn't relax in here last night. Hmm, were you not feeling well? Tch, that would have been fine if not for the loud one, the fluffy one, and your sister. I was trying to have a soak in peace, but they were just so damn noisy over there. Yeah, I can picture that. Sorry about that, I guess. Okay, Bakugo version 2, calm down. Still can't believe our principal is that demon woman, but... This bath's alright. She's got good taste. Ignoring that first part, I'll agree with you. Are you a fan of bathhouses too, Ash? Uh, I guess we got that in common at least. <laughs> Back home, I only ever took showers. That was always enough for me. You're from Raquel, in the west of the Empire. It's situated in a valley, right? Yeah, it's an entertainment city. Don't see many people of those. Don't see many of those in the empire. <laughs> you look like you look in the right spots there. You can find some special bathhouses. You like bathing so much. Maybe you should go check them out. <sighs> it seems like you run off to Heimdall every so often. I hope you're not doing anything like that there. <laughs> Who knows? I admit. I would like to check out the spa place next to the race course, of course. 
right course still. Ah, the famous hot bath salon. I've actually been wanting to try it out myself. Hmm. Oh yeah, you're from from same it. You're from some famous hot spring town, ain't ya? Or you can even go snowboarding there. <laughs> you know your stuff, though you can only snowboard in the winter. That's it? Aw, oh, come on. Tch, damn it. I didn't come here planning to chit-chat like that. I'd say that's the third benefit of a bath. How'd you like it if Class 7 took a trip to Mir one of these days? <laughs> no, what? Well, maybe I'll think about it. What is your goal, Ash? No, I just have one star with him. Alright, time to check my Arcus then. Of course, Alyssa and Machias. Alyssa has to be one of these, so let's do Alyssa. I think he'll keep. Good morning, Reen. I bet you're up bright and early. I'm on my way to Jirai with Sharon for a business trip. We'll be passing by Lee, so maybe, if I'm lucky, I'll catch you through the window. I wanted to ask you something too. The branch campus has a false fact facility called Einhell Keep, doesn't it? I've been curious since I heard about it. I'd love to hear more about it from you sometime. No business trip to dry, huh? Her workload must be nuts. And again, she's got Sharon, so I know she'll be well taken care of. And I can see why she'd be curious about the keep too, with all that new technology involved. I could always show her the place if she has enough time to drop by leaves. Yes, let's see. Hi, Reen. It's always nice to hear from you. I'm glad I got your message, by the way, and I wanted to ask you something. If you got time before Jirai, do you think you could stop by Leaves? I could tell you, but I'd probably be better to show you the keep in person. You can do that? And yeah, that's true. Do you think it's okay, Sharon? There shouldn't be any problems with our schedule. There's nothing quite like some quality sensual bonding to perk you right up before work. Sharon, <clears throat> well, there you have it. We're not that far from leaves right now, so I won't be long. Then I called you at the right time. I'll pick you up at the station. We met up with Alyssa and Sharon at the station. Hey girls, how's it going? So, this is Leaves. <laughs> it's such a nice little place. Plus, I'm glad I get to see you again so soon, Reen. Yeah, it's good to see you too. And I hope you're doing well too, Sharon. Oh, I am in perfect health, thank you. My wounds have completely healed. And, I sim and I'm simply glad to have been able to escort my late. Whoops. And I'm simply glad to have been able to escort my lady back into your arms, Masterine. That's quite enough, Sharon. Anyway, can you show us the way to the keep? Sure thing, it's at the branch campus. Every time they give an aerial view, I always think somebody's just watching. Because they tend to do that a lot. Look at this, Jesus. This is Einhell Keep. Our training session is scheduled here later today. So, this is it, huh? It's just like I was told. Indeed, it would appear so. Um, out of curiosity, why did you want to see the keep so much? Well, it's true I'm curious simply because of its state-of-the-art facility, but it seems like this thing was made with Rhine4 technology. My mother saw to that. I guess she took on this project of her own in regard, in order to make Professor Schmidt's design a real reality. Completely under the radar, just like with the new railway cannons. And you didn't know about it at all? It's embarrassing to admit, but no, not a thing. If something this crazy was hidden so well, I'm sure there are a ton of other nasty surprises lurking under the surface. Alyssa. 
Do you think I could try out the keep too? I can't stand that I don't know anything with something my family was involved in. I'm going to investigate the crap out of this place and watch up to and catch up to mother while I'm at it. All right, Alyssa. The new class seven has a test here after this, but I'm sure it'll be fine if I talk to the professor. If you like, I'd like to join you if you don't mind, as my way of supporting you. I shall participate as well. After all, I would go through fire and water for you, my lady. Thanks, Reen. You too, Sharon. After that, the three of them went into the keep. When called the professor to explain the situation, he then agreed to help out with the training course before Class 7's trial. They decided to try one of the sub routes based on the older levels. Just like Laura. Oof. Sharon. Okay, come on, Reen. Sharon, let's go. Yeah, you got it. Our exploration of the level 2 sub route begins now. <laughs> Let us be off in that case. Let's get yes. started. It's my turn. Let's see, what new monsters are we going to face here? Now watch it be the same one. Oh, it is a new one. It seems we must take out the trash. Is it? Oh, it's a new one. Second form, Gale! It's down! It's mine! Leave this to me. How does this suit you? Leave it to me. The other one's frozen. Let me use the battle scope before I forget. Since one is frozen, I'm gonna attack the one that is My not turn. frozen. And it's asleep. All right. Now's our chance. An opening. And uh, yes. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. Whew. Everyone okay? I don't know why. Whew. Like it was something difficult. I mean, that was very easy. And that's it. Really. These annoying ass worms. One last hurdle. No way that's stopping us. Get in my lady's way and I'll cut you down. The enemy, please brace yourselves. This is gonna hurt a bit. I don't know, these are the same ones. You took Seppa from me, how dare you? I'm up! Alright, are they the. They're new. Alright. But I'm going to Gale them. Second form, Gale! No one's dead. Now! It's mine! Yes! There! Now's our chance! Reen, let's go! Got it! Sit! There! Gotta rush it. Yes! Yeah! Break two. It's my turn. How does this suit you? My turn. Huh. Now! Rain, let's go! I wanna get the achievement for rushes. Damn. It's my turn! Huh. It's down! It's mine! Yes! If nobody's with her. Let's go. Second form, Gale. Lead this to me. <sighs> Leave it to me. Ha! 
Leave it to me. Come on, give me it. Oh, Leave this to me. He died. Not on my watch. Don't risk things. Good luck. Thanks. I hate that attack. Let's go. Because of that. <sighs> Leave this to me. Arcus, activate. Yes. Come on, ah. so close. But that should kill it. All right, nice work. Maybe now I'll lose the level up. All right, got it. <laughs> we did it. We did. We did it. Yeah, we really earned that win. It was not hard though. So that concludes the level two sub breath. Well done, you two. <laughs> right back at you. I never knew there was so much to Einhell keep. I get the basic of how it works, but there's a lot in here that's totally beyond me. It's an enigma. At least we were able to complete our goal. There is something so satisfying about seeing lovers work together to solve problems. L lovers? N no, we're not. Damn it, Sharon. Anyway, I really appreciate you taking me through this, the keep like this. Yeah, we're not lovers, trust me. My lover is Laura. Not changing. Thanks, Reen. <laughs> My pleasure. Actually, Alyssa, are you heading out right now? If you have time, I'd like to show you around the branch campus. Really? Well, if you're offering, how could I resist? I still have some time before my train and I'm curious about what your day-to-day -day is like. In that case, it, case I'll excuse myself. Far be it from me to intrude on a romantic outing for two. Er, actually, the offer stands for you too, Sharon. You're too kind. I'd actually intended to drop in on my dear old friend Celestin. Not to mention, I can't imagine you need a third. Not at this point in your relationship, anyway. Sharon! <laughs> Take all the time you need. You can find me when you're done. Oh boy, Sharon, come on. It's not even like that. The out of ways to embarrass me. On the bright side, it looks like we've got the full tour. What do you say, Alyssa? Let's go. After that, Rena and Alyssa walked around the school, all the while reminiscing about their time at Thor's. This is the roof. This is the roof you wanted to jump off when I told you I didn't wasn't into you. Ah, I just can't get it. enough of the atmosphere here. It makes me feel like I'm back at the main campus. Yeah, me too. Even if it, the, it's a new building, you have the new location, Thor is still Thor's. Yeah, you said it. With the keep and the f all the facilities here, it's clear my mother was involved to some degree. You weren't even told about the keep, oh, right? Does that mean you don't get certain information even as the project manager of the development division? I'm sure if I had seen through it and grilled on the matter, mother would have told me. But each production division is independent of the others, and each has their own projects to deal with. Ever since the Civil War, the whole company got bigger, making it even more difficult to see the big picture. The new railway cannons, for example, by the time Grandfather and I had heard about them, development was already underway. That's kind of frightening. Granted, the 4th Div the fourth Division has its own share of top secret projects it's working on there too, but even so, I don't approve of mother greenlighting projects like the railway cannons and the keep. Lately, it's been feeling like she's even more distant as usual. Alyssa. <laughs> Sorry about that. I was just venting. I feel like a little better now. I can even talk to Sharon about this kind. Oh, oh. You'll be alright, Alyssa. You put your blood, sweat, and tears into your work at the Reinford group. 
And because of that, you became the project manager in a single year, right? So, you hold your hair up high. We, I know how hard you've been working. I mean... But, whenever you start to feel worried, I'll always be here to listen to you vent. We've got the round... We've got the round of seven now, too, so that helps take some of weight off your shoulders, then. <laughs> Gosh, don't spoil me too much or I'll get used to it. But no, please, just let me do this for now. They're not a bad couple, but I just like Laura better, and I'm a one-man kind of girl. Wait, I'm a one... <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm a girl now, apparently. I'm a one-girl kind of guy. That's all I need. Makes me feel like I can keep going. Alyssa, of course. Sharon's spying? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, Sharon, but it's not gonna happen. After a little while, the two pulled away from each other. Sharon then appeared to notify them about the train, almost as if she planned it. It was Sharon. All right, bye, Alyssa. Bye, Sharon. After that, Reen reluctantly said goodbye to the two of them as they embarked on their journey to Dry. This is strengthened. Ooh, a whole heart. Oh, so close to Sharon. Hey there, Kurt. What are the other bonding events? Yes, I just went in and changed Eunice. Because <laughs> she was the only one without it, so... Just went in and changed that real quick. Can I talk? Okay, there we go. Alright, everything's set up for practice. By the way, Yuna, how's progress with... That one thing? Well, it's just hard to find the right time, you know? <laughs> Start making excuses like that and you'll keep making them all the way up to graduation. That's definitely a possibility for this shy, moody little girl who hides her true feelings under a veil of anger. Shy? Feelings? Anger? None of that's true. I think. What are you all talking about? Instructorine. Oh, we were just giving her some advice. We got an interleague game with another school, so we were just discussing how best to prepare for it. Oh, yeah, I think I heard about that. Well, I'm glad to see you're also serious about practice. N yeah, totally. So, that means no man on the court. Shove off, Instructorine. Uh, sure thing. Good luck, you three. Thank you. Oh man. Sheesh. An early game against another school. I'd like to help out somehow if possible. Yes? Is there anything I could help you out with? I've gone over the basics of the game, rules, and how to use a racket, so I might be of some use in your practice. You learn how to play just like that? For real? Well, in that case, we may be able to use your help after all. Oh yes, this may be a good opportunity in more ways than one. Actually, the match is going to be doubles match, but we don't have enough members to practice that. Could we do a match with you and Yuna against Luis and me? Alright, sounds good. I'd love to join. What? You guys? Come on, Yuna. Come, come, Yuna. It's time to get ready. <laughs> Here's a chance you've been waiting for. I'm not really sure what's going on here. Yeah, I think I know what's going on. She wants to tell him thank you for saving her. Reen joined the tennis club members for a doubles match. Yeah! Oh, wow. Good job, Yuna. Nice, Yuna. <laughs> you too. But the game's not over. Don't let your guard down. Of course not. <laughs> we won't lose either. <clears throat> Indeed, it's our turn now. You just skipped the whole game. They lost. <laughs> or not. <sighs> okay, we won. Whew, we did it. 
We won, Yuna. <laughs> Jessica and Luis were pretty persistent, though. But I didn't expect you to be that good, Instructor Reen. You said you just went over the basics, but did you actually practice like crazy or something? Well, just as much as I could with my free time. I knew that I'd be... I need to be able to help out with all of Class 7's club activities. Wait, so that means chess, swimming, tear ceremonies, even writing? I don't think a normal instructor would go that far. Well, it was only as much as I was able to practice and only one at a time, so it wasn't a big deal. But I'm sure Instructor Toa, Randy, and Michael are all putting in as much work as I am behind the scenes. All in order to support you guys, as you've grown over the past few months. Yuna, you've grown a lot after the crossbow field exercise was alone. Uh, uh... Um, Instructor! What is it? Um, well... Mm, Kurt and Allie are both growing a lot, too. Uh, yeah, uh, Kurt and Altina, as well as Ash and Muse. That's why I gotta put everything I have into being your instructor. Let's all look out for each other, right, Yuna? Uh, okay, um, sure. <sighs> Yuna, you blew it. But to double the match, having reached his conclusion, Reen heads off to another part of the campus. <sighs> Yuna! didn't do it after all, even after all that help. Didn't you want to thank him for saving you back then? You said he wanted to thank him on behalf of your brother and sister too, remember? It's only going to get harder the longer you wait, you know that, right? I, I know, but it's already been so long, it'd be awkward to just bring it up. Thanks anyway, you two. I'll do better next time. My word. It must be exhausting being so shy and moody. Right? I, I told you, I'm not. You are. You are, Yuna. Your bond with Yuna strengthened. That's a lot. Who's in here? Nope. 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 Every time I see her, I'm just like noping out of there. Sounds like someone using the firing range. That rifle sounds so familiar. Over there, they're going at it. Maybe I should take a look. Yes. You gotta be quiet so I don't interrupt. Hard at work. Whoa. I cannot aim today. Perhaps next time will be better. I don't know. It was pretty impressive. I was pretty impressed. Instructor Reen? <laughs> Were you spying on me? You should have said something. <laughs> Sorry about that. I just didn't want to distract you. It's rare to see you so focused. How about a break? Drinks are on me. My. <laughs> How's a girl supposed to say no to an offer like that? That gun of yours is pretty unusual. That's a Ford Arts Rifle, right? That's right. State of the Art 2. It's based on Orwell staff technology. It can use normal bullets too, of course, but because it's so different from an ordinary rifle, it's pretty hard to handle. It looks like all your shots hit the target, so I'd say it gets a passing marks. Actually, wait, are you saying you'd be an even better shot with an ordinary rifle? <laughs> My grandfather used to take me on his hunting trips. I wouldn't call myself a seasoned veteran or anything, but I know my way around a firearm. Is this the same grandfather who loves kimonos and tea ceremonies? You've got some diverse interests. But what prompted you to start training on your own again? Isn't it obvious? I'm part of Class 7 now. There's going to be a lot more combat than there was in military finance, and I want to be ready for it. And for what comes next. Comes next? 
Oh, it's nothing, just a personal issue. Well, I need to get back to training. Thank you for the drink, Instructor Reen. Musei, if you don't mind, could I give you some pointers? Huh? Rifle classes were part of my curriculum back at main campus. While guns are exactly my specialty, I might be able to help out, at least for whatever comes next for you. Instructor Reen. <laughs> I thought you'd never ask. By all means, take me into your hands and mold me, Instructor Reen. <sighs> Reen began to give private rifle muse private rifle lessons. He took everything he learned from the main campus, applying it to their lessons. No, she's just loving every second. <laughs> though Muse teased Reen the whole way, though her skills gradually improved. And then... Girl! Ah? Uh, you hit the bullseye with every bullet. Way to go, Muse. I did. And I couldn't have done it without you. Thank you, Instructor, for spending all that time with me. I feel as though I've improved tremendously, and I plan to apply everything I've learned in our future battles. Thank you again. I can't wait to see you in action. You're a part of Class 7 now. I expect nothing but the best. Good luck, Musee. Of course. After that, Musee told Reen that she wanted to do a little more training on her own, and Reen saw himself out. <laughs> oh! Thanks to him, it feels like I never stopped hunting. I'm looking forward to more of our private lessons, Instructor Reen. Girl, you just... <laughs> you liar. You goddamn liar. Can I go in? And she's... Oh, she's here. Alright, but I am going to leave it here, guys. Next episode, we're going to see what the monster next to her wants. And we'll keep going and doing all these quests and... Try to find and see if we got any hidden quests, which apparently that's going to be one. If you guys are enjoying my videos, please okay. hit a like and share. That always helps out. Hit that bell notified when I upload a new video. Subscribe to become part of Moonlight Army today. If you guys want to stalk me on my social medias, the links will be in the description box below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. So, take care guys. Bye-bye.